Good morning, my blessed friends. It is Wayne Bolden at the Speed King Channel. It is Thanksgiving morning. Hope everybody have a great holiday today and a peaceful one for sure. Let me just thank you for your support here at the, the channel. We have a bunch of fun and uh, we keep it classy and we just, you know, um, enjoy doing it and, and meeting the people that we do. So I want to speak blessings into each and every one of your lives today for sure. And as always, uh, turn your closed captions on. If you want tip sheets this weekend, just email me and I'll get the pics over to you. But I do want to get out a few uh, races for Saturday. Uh, I'm going to go through them fast because you know we're busy here with family and friends and things like that. Uh, so we're going to take a look at Saturday race, race number 11 over at Church Hill. It is the Kentucky uh, Jockey Club uh, Stakes. Mile of 16 for the two-year-old boys. They're in town. That's right. They'll be derby dreaming next year for sure. You know some of the actors in here in terms of the connections, the trainers, and the owners. It's a full field of eight for 400,000. Grade two, race number 11. Give you our top three pick. We're going to get in and then we're going to get out, right? Just so we can say we are putting something out there. Well, we're going to go right to the number seven horse. That's right. Risk it. Well, I'm being a homer here once again, but this one is well, well meant, y'all. Risk it. The number seven is five to two on the morning line, trained by my guy, Steve Asmussen, for sure. Hey, this is the son of Gunrunner on the back end by Broken Vows. One win from two starts and one second, and you know it's Winchell uh, uh, Thoroughbreds. And they're always derby dreaming, I mean, having had Curlin and Gunrunner himself. Well, this here son of Gunrunner, they paid 600000 for this one and uh, ran uh, second in a grade three IRS stakes on September 16th, earned a decent speed figure and with only two starts. So that is always the conundrum with two-year-olds, right? Uh, they're babies. They jump. They go forward. I mean, they don't have a necessary top yet. They're still learning how to run. So almost anything goes with two-year-olds. But we do like the number seven risk it. Again, the horse is by gun runners. So I always, you know, love those. And, and gun runner is some kind of sire. Of course, he was an awesome horse. It don't hurt that I got Asmussen and Winchell in my quarter. And if that wasn't enough, I got the smooth, smooth Tyler Gaffley on. Hey, only five to two on the morning line. But, you know, that's what you're going to get in these two-year-old races. You're going to have the top connections with the best horses, okay, for sure. The number seven, Risk It, the son of Gunrunner, we think is uh, going to be a strong, strong uh, uh, contender in here. The number, uh, the number one horse, right, Awesome Road. Well, Awesome Road is trained by, you got it, it's Brad Cox and his band of merry horses, and he don't need to apologize. They pay $600,000 uh, for Awesome Road, the number one horse, installed at the 7-2 co-favorite, I believe, in here. Hey, by Quality Road on the back end by AP Indy, this, this spells, uh, you know, distance and uh, classic distance like that. And also rode the number one again, just like Risk It, the number seven, has one win from two starts. And that win came in the uh, maiden special race. Now, this one did go into a grade one race, second start of his life on October 7th. It ran not a great race, ran seventh actually, it was three or four wide. It was a grade one Claiborne Breeder Cup Futurity. Now, this horse hasn't ran an effort since August. So I like to bet horses coming in on a off race, maybe not necessarily a top race. And his last race was an off race, finishing seventh. Speed figure is horrible. This horse should run a bang up race. I like the recovery on horses like this. It's Brad Cox. He's got Flavian Pratt in the arms for sure. Bred like all get out. They pay 600000 The number one horse is extremely, extremely high on my list in this race. So my top two picks, the number seven, Risk It, the Gun Runner by Asmussen, and the number one horse, Awesome Road. I'm happy with just those two in here. But I'm going to give you our third pick in here for sure. And we're going to go right to... Uh, I believe it's the number six horse, uh, Stretch Ride, right? The old Stretch Ride, the number six horse trained by my boy Del Roman. By the way, Del Roman trained Roses in May. That's right, running right behind the classy, classy Goat Zapper in the Breeders' Cup Classic down there in Lone Star. Well, the number six 
stretch ride. I don't think Del Roman has to apologize for this uh, prospective two-year-old that could be very good. Three to one on the morning line. Del Roman do know how to get these horses together when he gets a nice one. And I believe this one is a nice one. By Street Sense, Quality Road on the back end. Hey, just like the awesome horse. Got some of that bloodline in him, right? And, um... Chun is, uh, Martin Chun is our rider here. This is a West Point thoroughbred uh, owned horse uh, bred by Jackpot Farm. Hey, this one they paid a um, hundred thousand for, but this one looks has, like he has some promise. This one is undefeated. Del Roman's horse is two for two, y'all. Two starts and two wins. So you can't begin to knock that. The speed figure from the first to the second race moved up small increments, which I love. So I expect another improvement in his third race off, uh, off of his second race. Coming back in about six weeks. I love that. Five weeks, something like that. I believe the number seven, uh, six horse, Stretch Ride, is a strong contender and could prove best in here. Undefeated. Can't knock that. So those are our top three picks. Seven, one, six, like that. If we had to round out our trifact or our super factor in here, why don't we look at the number three horse, Real Men Violin. Real Men Violin. I got a nice little ring to it, right? Well, Real Men Violin is by Mendelssohn. Uh, got five starts, one win, three seconds, and one third. This horse has always hit the board. It's my boy, Kenny McPeak. He's sneaky, sneaky good. And he's got his boy with him, Brian Hernandez Jr. Don't put nothing by Kenny McPeak. He's always good with two-year-olds, particularly Phillies. But this one took five starts to break from, uh, his maiden last time at Churchill right here uh, on 10:29, back in about three and a half, four weeks. And maybe that was a light bulb moment, right? Took full five times to break his maiden, and that's when they spring forward, usually. Takes him some time, take him some time, take him some time, and then boom. So, to me, uh, real men violin um, may be sneaky, sneaky good in here, and uh, we'll round out our super factor with the number three. Five to one, not a bad price. So, in this year's... Cont um, Kentucky uh, Jockey Club uh, race uh, grade two, um, 400,000 uh, two-year-old babies, of course. Everybody wants to get their two-year-olds rolling so they can uh, start thinking derby prep races, which starts in January for sure uh, as they all turn three. So it's seven, one, six, three. Let's go ahead and box it up. And see what we'll do there. And then we'll just go ahead and key the 7 and the 1. I like the 7 and the 1 here. Risk it and awesome road. I like both of those horses. 7, 1, 6, 3. Box it up. Then go ahead and key some of the horses. That, I'm going to key the number 7 for sure. Stay classy, y'all. Enjoy your Thanksgiving for sure. And of course, be safe in all that you do. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And all that you've done to help our channel for sure. My name is Wade Bolden. I am your speed king, for sure. On Thanksgiving morning, having a cup of coffee, waiting for the family to come over and eat a little turkey.